Okay, so here I'm in Photoshop. I'm going to open the bridge and open up the wireframe PNG that I just saved. Here we go. I've also got in the bridge a web, web template Photoshop file that has a web browser window image in it and it also has some grids and things. Um, so I'm going to drag my wireframe into my web template. Okay, there we go. So it's starting to look a little bit more like a web page. I'm going to rename that wireframe and lock that layer. Okay, now I need to do the background. Now in the bridge, I've actually got a big background image, some concrete. I'm going to use my background layer. So I'll open this up. And now it's far too big, so I'm going to have to resize it. So change the image size to 1024. That should be about right. And drop it in. And then I can resize it by Command or Control T to get the handles to just squish it down. There we go. And I'll rename that background and lock that layer as well. Okay, now my whole uh, document is too small, so I'm actually going to change the canvas size and just make it a little bit longer, make it a thousand pixels in height so that my wireframe fits in. Okay, that's looking good. Now, to begin with, I'm going to do that header at the top. I'm going to use a shape tool. I could drag it out and create a shape like that but I won't. If you just click on the screen, you can actually put in the right amount in pixels, um, which I know. There we go. And to line it up here, I'm just going to pull a guideline out from the ruler so it can be nicely lined up. There we go. Okay, now here I can change the opacity, 50%, so I can see everything through it. Okay, I'll turn off the uh, wireframe just to see what it looks like. It looks okay. Okay, so we're starting uh, to get a, a look of what we're going to do. Um, I need to uh, put the logo in. Now I've got an Illustrator file. Here we have in Illustrator, my Illustrator file. It's a vector file, you can see, of high-res records I've done recently. So I'm going to save for web and save this as a PNG and save it as the right size. Now I actually know 310 is the right size. Um, so I save it as a PNG file, get out of Illustrator, and here it is in the bridge. I can just drag it and drop it, and it should fit in there perfectly. Excellent, that's looking good. Ticket, turn off the wireframe. Yeah, that looks looking good. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is a search box. Now, I've also got another Photoshop file. Um, called Web Elements, which has a whole bunch of images of web elements, and in there I've got this little search box which consists of the text and the box. So I can just drag and drop that in, close down my Web Elements now, and I can just resize it um, to fit. So I'm just going to link those layers together the search, text, and the box itself, so I can just resize it. Okay, now I'm going to make a uh, a little search button. I'm going to make something really simple. So I'm not quite sure what I want here. Simple grey button. Um, there we go. I wonder if that's... yeah that's probably the right size. I'm going to pick a grey colour. Now I'm going to have to rasterize that layer um, so I can paste in it. So right click rasterize and then use the paint bucket tool to fill it with... maybe that's actually too dark. Let's go for a lighter grey. Okay, um, that looks good. I'll give it some bevel and emboss, just very slightly to make it look like a button. So I'm going to take the depth and the size right down. Okay, and I'll turn that wireframe layer off. No, it's actually too light now. Let's go back to the darker color. There we go. Okay, now I need some text. So I get the text tool. Now a standard uh, web text, Vidana is one of the standard web texts. So I'm going to use that at 12 points and make it black and type search in there. Now that's not black. Yes it is, it must be below the, yes it's below the layer, so let's just drag it right up to the top of my layers. So it's a, there we go, it's above everything. Okay, I think that button's too small, but we'll leave it for now anyway, it's okay. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is um, have a look at those, uh, those 
uh, yeah, I think I'll change the color of that because I'm not happy with the white. I just rasterize that layer and I'm going to pick a dark red. There we go. That's got a little bit more color to it. There we go. Excellent. Right, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to use the text tool. I'm just going to make some links. So I'll make these white. They'll stand out on the red. About. And literally, I'm just going to copy these. And one. And I'm just going to make it faster. I'm just going to duplicate the layer. And then just use my keyboard arrows to drag it across. And then just click in there. And click in there and change it to. I'm just going to duplicate that layer as well. Okay. Drag it across. There we go. And try and click in there. I should really zoom in. Make the size a bit bigger. There we go. And duplicate the layer again. I should get band four coming up. And last one I'm going to do is the contact us link. Okay, it's looking good. Okay, I'll just turn that off to see what it looks like. It's looking fine. Right now, I want a, a tagline or a slogan at the top. Now, I've got this really good sort of old typewriter font called 1942. So, a uh, slogan or a tagline. I don't know what it's going to be yet, so I'm just going to keep slogan or tagline. And that goes with a sort of grungy, grungy sort of distress style. Now, I just need to move that out so it actually fits within uh, four columns. I'm still trying to keep with the columns. And I want to actually put in here uh, some quote marks. I'm going to make them not Vedana. I want to make them with the same typewriter text. Okay. I'll do them down here to start with. And I'll make them even bigger. I'll make them 60 points is good. Okay, now just move this all along a little bit so it fits within the margins perfect. And I'm just going to duplicate that layer so I can have... Oops, I'm just going to lock that because that's getting annoying grabbing that thing all the time. Okay so there we are the slogan or the tagline. Okay so that's sort of the header. I'll turn that into lowercase. I might change that a bit later. It still doesn't look quite right but anyway let's move on. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is for band one, a rectangle shape for the back bit there. I know exactly how long it's going to be, 960 by 150. There we go. And that fits in nicely. And I'm going to change the opacity down on that thing once it's all nicely locked in to 50% uh, or thereabouts. Okay, that's looking good. And I'm just going to save this as... Uh, mock-up one just in case something happens there we go okay now I've got a logo for band one already um, very imaginative it's called band one again we don't have the real logo so I just made up a few um, and I've resized it to fit in the next thing I need is some text here so again Vedana um, I'm just going to resize it to the right size and uh, white is not good. Black is good. That's a band one. What are they called? In bold the title and then some information about them. So this is the details I'm going to put in here. Okay. And put some more information. So it's just some general information just to give an idea of what it's going to look like. 